Come back any time. It's thinner up here. That's nice. <laughs> Is that the armor? It looks kind of run down. Can you wear it? No. It is too small and too old. We will bring it back to the dwarf.
that what I think it is? Useless armor? Useless? Oh, ye of little faith, this armor was worn by Ivaldi himself. Sure, it's seen better days. But I can restore it with more mist echoes. And it'll help with the effects of Ivaldi's curse. Unless there is something of value in this workshop, there is little point in staying here. You saw all the chests in the center chamber, yes? Plus all the goodies tucked away towards the back of the workshop? And the three round tears, of course! But... Might want to be careful with those. Why's that? It's a literal tear in the fabric of reality itself. You want to reach your hand through there? Be my guest. Something else for you then? I don't suppose you could try keeping that clean? How about you, young one? are sprites of the forest. Aye. Beautiful, seductive sprites of the forest. So why would you call Brock and Sindri the Holger Brothers? Oh, well, I now realize this would be a wholly inappropriate story for a young and innocent ear. Going in or what? Oh man, the tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. So, Odin wants to go where he can't reach. Are you saying he's trying to get to Jotunheim too? Aye, it ranks among his foremost obsessions. But, that doesn't make any sense, Mimir. Oh? When did I stop making sense? You're saying Baldur tracked us down to find the way to Jotunheim. But that was before we knew Jotunheim is where we needed to go. That's crazy. Except for one thing. You are headed for Jotunheim, so he was right. I'm so confused. 
Well then, clearly you've been listening. <laughs> say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the Giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the Giant Kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, when victory was still a thing dreamed of and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magics, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. I didn't think we'd see you out here, since you and Brock got back together. Everything okay? Oh, better than ever. You know, I really think we've both grown in our years apart. So how come we're back here? catching some fresh air. Look, I love my brother, but he still smells like a fetid dung pot. I still can't believe a son would kill his own father. That's crazy, right? I know, we only got one side of the story. But come on, his own father? I mean, I get angry at you sometimes, but- Do you? I mean, sometimes, yeah, a little. But I'd never stab you in the back. No, I imagine not. That down there.
This clan really didn't want anyone coming in. How are we supposed to get there? There must be a way to lift the gate. Maybe with the big water wheel. My thought as well. We are done here. Are you angry? What? With me. When? Oh. I guess... Sometimes when you don't think I can do something. But I can. It is not always easy to know what... It's okay. I get it. I'm little. Where's that whetstone, I wonder?
happened over there? This is the Sodden. That ghost son? How do you know? The sigil. It matches the dagger we found in his father's back. He stood his ground, but it was not enough. They betrayed him. Betrayal begets betrayal. My guess, the young one murdering his dad didn't sit well with the others. He thought himself ready to lead. It cost him his life. I guess. Look there, lad. By his feet. The whetstone! Yes. They used it to smash his face in. They did? Ew. Reavers have very specific priorities. If it's not shiny and you can't eat or drink it, might as well use it as a blunt object. Can you read it? Yes, sir. This says, false leader. I've seen it written all over this place. Boy, over here. Sir! Another map! Great!
Look here. Yes, sir. There's a scroll here. It belonged to the sun. Wow, this goes on and on. Father, forgive me. Filled with remorse, forget my actions. Hmm. Had he thought before taking action, there would be no need for regret, yes? Yeah. Maybe we should bring this to his father, back at the store. You never told us what Magni and Modi had to do with Hrungnir. Oh yes! Well, what happened after Hrungnir fell slain upon Thor was that nobody in the court could get the stone body off of him. Thor was no use at this point. His brain rattled, his breath shallow. But none of Odin's men were nearly strong enough to help. Then enter little Magni and Modi. No taller than shrubs. And while nobody but myself was looking, they flipped over Hrungnir's corpse and freed their father. Magni, being blonder, got all the credit, and Modi remained bitter about it from that day to the end, which I don't need to tell you about. How did it go at the stronghold? We found your whetstone. Oh, wonderful! This staining is unusual. The Reavers used it to smash another Reaver's face in. Oh, <clears throat> wonderful. Here. For your trouble. I can't wait to test out the new whetstone. It may not look like much, but it's practically humming with magic. I've needed a new one after my brother borrowed the last one. I saw him spit on it. To lube it up, he said. I didn't ask for it back. Oh, what brings you around, friends? If you're not in a hurry... So? 
I heard you and Brock are kind of famous. Well, you're half right. Whatever did you hear? That you made Thor's hammer. Oh. Yes. We did do that. Mjolnir put us on the map. It was a legendary run. Gods and kings knew our brand. We really did make quite a team. So what happened? Oh, well, that's a long story. Things happened that made it difficult to... Find that certain spark, you know? Inspiration is a fickle mistress. Huh? Oh, enough distractions. You see the mess I have to clean up around here? Okay. Tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. What are you fools doing back here? Come to pill for my boots and small clothes. We found your son. He... He was betrayed too. And we found part of his journal. It sounded like he regretted killing you. <laughs> Fat lot of good that does me. How'd he go out? Did I fight him? We found four corpses near his. They were decapitated. Ha! <laughs> Vandrid always did keep his sword nice and sharp. A lesson he picked up from me. <sighs> he's a backstabbing bastard, but... Knowing he's in Valhalla sets me at ease. Thanks. We did a good thing. I'm glad we came back here. That thief did not deserve the peace you gave him. Maybe so. Still, 
It feels good to help people. Even the dead ones. Hmm. So much like your mother. 